Media plays important role in providing information to the public's awareness about sustainable tourism. Today in this clip, you're going to meet Don Ross. He is the managing director of TTR Weekly. This company was established in 1978. Before meeting him, I do encourage you to read his article, which is available in this link. Now, let's meet Don Ross. I, I think it's, they're being politically correct. They say what people want to hear, but the, the devil is in the details. It's a more complicated scenario. There's more involved in, in this than just talk because it affects ev every sector of the business, from the tour operators to the airlines, to the hotels, all areas. So to resolve this, the, the, a guy like the UNWT Hall uh, Secretary General has to be a tourism leader. He has to rock the boat. He, he has to change the direction, which is difficult to do sometimes. Well, he didn't explain it, um, I have to say, but he, he did say that it's about strengthening and uniting. That's, that's what we believe the meaning of, of uh, consolidate is, that you strengthen and unite. And if he's talking about growing better, then you would have to assume he's talking about not just counting tourist ads, but counting the revenue, counting the length of stay. But when you're talking about sustainable tourism, then I personally think he's, he's missed the point. The, we have to slow down tourism, not the growing period is, has got to be tempered by more realistic policy than, than we have right now. And this is more difficult. And if you look at the latest figures, the pollution from tourism or the uh, green, greenhouse gas emissions are four times bigger than what people had estimated earlier. So there is a major problem here. All the tourism about having too much. Uh, you have major, if, if you Google today too many tourists, you will probably come up with uh, a list of cities like uh, London, Paris, Rome, New York. Um, Venice, Barcelona, Iceland and Thailand because it's a major destination. The whole point about over tourism is that there's too many visitors coming and in response to that people have to slow down the growth. It's overheating. That's how economists would, would probably put it. And to do that you, you may have to introduce taxes and other measures to slow down or put a, ca a cap on, on capacity at certain destinations, which is not a, a popular message. In, in, to some degree it is, but it worries me that they're just moving from the popular destinations to the new destinations. They're moving thousands of people to different destinations, calling that sustainable, but yet these new destinations are not prepared for it. The, the research has not been done to en ensure that each destination that is on the list can cope with these, can the communities cope with it. And these are the issues that you, you have to do before you start talking about spreading tourism beyond the, the popular destinations now, because in, in fact you may be just transferring the problem from one destination to another. I think we have to come with some takeaways from all this that are applicable to everybody in society. And I think the first part is the education. E education has to go beyond the university to every school, explaining to students just what is at stake here. Uh, how do you save the planet? We all save it by doing certain things and the tourism industry has to take the lead because, it, as, as I said earlier, it is a, a major polluter. A few years ago, it wasn't talked about, but the fact is that the tourism, the number of people traveling, like 7.8 billion people will fly by the year 2036. It's a ma major, major issue. So what, what I think is that it's got to come down. It's got to come down from the decision makers and the government to the, no the average person working in tourism, because we can all make a contribution. I, uh, just to close, I mean, I, a few weeks ago, a cruise company in Sweden said that it was removing all plastic from its ships effective this July. It's a very small cruise company, but that same message should be given to every cruise company in the world and to every hotel chain that we can make a difference, but it has to start with the leaders of tourism doing the right thing. <laughs>